lucky mule? Looks like hard work really does. Hyman's gonna take her time and save her every bite. What would you like to do this afternoon? Sure. If we're not going to work, then let's kill some time in the pancreation ring. Hmm? Are you two here to buy tickets? Better be- Who are the boxers in the next round? We have the reigning champ, Le Grappler, versus a contender from the eastern prison block, Demon Horde. Are those their nicknames, or did they choose those names themselves? Either way, super- uh, Since you're new around here, I'll help you out and give you a little suggestion. Even though Le Grappler is the crowd favorite, Demon Horde is a first-class dark horse with incredible- Anyway, for this match, I recommend that you pick... Huh? F uh, for... Uh, I could tell you're new to this, but I didn't think you were completely clueless. Maybe you don't quite understand the rules, no? Let me try to explain again for you more clearly. You see... Oh, no need, no need. Um, we're aware that we're going to lose... All right, then, if you're absolutely sure. Remember, no refunds once you buy the tickets. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Just shut up and take our... Oh, looks like we won't get a chance to sleep in as long as we're here. Hey, Traveler. Bye, Mon. Package here for you. The next time you buy something, go pick it up yourself. I'm not a delivery man, you know. Huh? A package? For us? Did you buy something, Traveler? <laughs> ah, Paimon's not quite awake yet, so why don't you go take a look? All right! Yesterday we broke the hidden rule and bought tickets for both boxers. Oh, maybe this package is the bad thing that Colin said. Huh? Paimon suddenly feels wide awake. Wait, maybe you let Paimon go hide somewhere first. Just call Paimon after you... Hey, wait, wait! Paimon's still here! Don't open it! Ah! Huh? What is it? Are you okay? Uh... Let Paimon take a peek, too. Oh, it's just a small bottle. But the color of the liquid inside looks so wrong. Almost like... All right, that's enough of that. No need to say it out loud. Paimon already knows what you're trying to say. Ooh, no way. Get that stuff away from Paimon. Uh, Paimon thinks we shouldn't open the bottle until we figured out what's going on. What do you have planned for us? Though it feels nice to slack off a little, less work means less coupons! Let's make the most of our morning. Quit following me. <sighs> if there's no way to send it all out, maybe I'll never. Uh, who are you? We've never seen you before, and you don't look like a fellow convict. Uh, I I'm not! <sighs> of course I'm not. Please, don't mistake me for a criminal. I'm a good, law-abiding citizen. Then what are you doing here? You sure seem anxious about something. I'm a promoter for Fontico, and I'm usually responsible for promoting our drink products. 
I thought I could complete my task here quickly and return to headquarters, but I've been here. Oh, a promoter from Fontico. So what kind of problem did you run into? Ugh, I'm so upset. It's all because of that dude. After discussing the company's promotional plans with him, he told me outright that my project was worthless. However, in light of our long history of successful collaboration, I still tried to patiently explain the details. However, to my surprise, he just cut me off while I was speaking. <clears throat> Let me take a moment and recall his exact words. I'm just gonna stop you there and say no. If anything, I'm saving you time. It seems you don't fully understand the value of credit coupons here, nor do you understand the value of your own products. The former is because you are from the overworld. That's understandable, and I don't blame you for that. But as for the latter, only someone monumentally stupid, so breathtakingly stupid that they were completely ignorant of the value of credit coupons, despite living in the underworld, would ever possibly consider buying your drink. Let's just forget it. <sighs> Anyway, that's how he rejected my proposal and asked me to come up with another solution with the condition that it doesn't cause any trouble for him. Can you believe that guy? Uh, well, he is the head honcho here. Not much you can do about that. We met him too and could tell that he's the kind of guy that's hard to pin down. Fine, fine. I know, I should just let it go. I'm on his turf after all. His house, his rules. Hey, I, I heard you crazy fools really did it. You bought tickets to support both fighters, didn't you? Well, I, did anything happen? Well, the next day we received a mysterious package, but we still haven't made any sense of the contents. So it is real. You didn't become cursed or anything like that, did you? Uh, Paimon's not sure. What do you think, Traveler? Is Paimon still Paimon? Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Hmm. Yeah, you two don't seem to have changed at all. But I wouldn't let your guard down just yet. Still, I didn't expect you would actually do it. You'd actually throw away coupons like that just to satisfy your curiosity? bought tickets like everybody else, it's not like we could hope to earn any coupons. When it comes to things like this, it's always the organizer who makes the real profits. Hey, just what are you trying to imply? The Pancration Ring is an honest business, and we really don't make much from selling tickets. We make so little that even the current tournaments can only be held thanks to funding from the producer of Fanta. Oh, so it's the company that manufactures Fanta sponsoring the events? Let's just say it's a mutually beneficial arrangement. They reached out to us first, hoping to promote Fanta products in the Forges of Meropede. Uh, anyway, you try and take extra good care of yourself. on it. Maybe it's some flyers from the company. Uh, okay. But if someone catches us, they could accuse us of trying to steal the company's secrets, couldn't they? Oh, <laughs> you're right. Guess there's nothing to worry about then. Let Paimon have a look here. Without assistance from the Fontaine Research Institute, development of the new product has been slow. 
and some researchers on the project have voiced concerns. We have no choice but to let the new product undergo the first phase of promotional trials without a designated name or packaging. We will adjust the direction of future development according to feedback. We have decided to only conduct closed, small-scale trials for the time being. Sure doesn't seem like anything unusual. The company is just trying to develop some new products besides Fanta. But it sounds like things aren't going well at all. Uh, let's put these papers back where we found them and make it look like nobody went through them. Okay, good. Show me what you got. Squalling Fury! Huh! We ended up here without even thinking about it! Wanna grab something to eat? Alright, but remember that we bought this time with coupons, so let's make better use of it next time! Just a regular meal set. Guess Paimon shouldn't get her hopes up. What would you like to do this afternoon? Seems you're really getting the hang of things at the Pancration Ring, but just playing the same game over and over? <laughs> yeah, why don't we have Collins lower the difficulty a little? You know, so we can just bre- A mysterious box? A bottle of crimson liquid? Oh, Paimon still doesn't know what to make of it. Do you have any ideas, Traveler? Really? Oh, then it looks like that part of the investigation let us know. Well, maybe we'll have better luck tomorrow. Good night. Okay, so we've investigated two of the hidden rules. <sighs> Paimon didn't think this prison would have so... many weird things going on. We'd better pick up the pace with our investigation, otherwise we'll never get anywhere. Yeah, let's skip work for now and put our time to good use. 